Healthy oceans are critically important to human health and well-being. If that statement surprises you, you're not alone. Few have thought about the many ways oceans affect all our lives and are central to our continued health, vitality and existence. Oceans are indeed central to human health and well-being, not only for those who live by the sea or off the sea, but for all human beings. Healthy, functioning marine ecosystems can play a central role in regulating planetary balances and providing a terrestrial environment that suits us. One aspect of this is climate regulation and carbon sequestration, that is the capture and long-term storage of carbon in forests and soils and in the oceans, so that the build-up of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere will reduce or slow. Interfering with these functions can have dire consequences for huge numbers of people on the planet. Already we are seeing how degradation of the ocean has impacts on storm events and on the ability of coastal communities to withstand storm events. Billions of people rely on oceans for food and have few other alternative resources. Billions also rely on ocean-related industries for their livelihoods. Healthy oceans sustain these populations directly. Degraded oceans strain them, causing public health issues and conflict. But more than providing goods such as fisheries, products and places for tourists to visit, oceans also provide vital services that include sustaining our spiritual lives. The importance of such cultural and spiritual connections and the links to human health and well-being cannot be overstated. Scenic seascapes, clean beaches to visit and water to bathe in, access to the sea for boating and recreation. These things sustain us every bit as much as food and shelter sustain us. Take these things away and human well-being suffers weakening spiritual health can lead to deteriorating physical health. Impacted oceans also affect humans more directly. Contaminated waters can cause the spread of pathogens or germs through contact as well as by eating contaminated seafood. Since we eat high up on the food chain of marine products, our chances of getting a big dose of poison with our meal is high if products come from degraded parts of the ocean. Certain diseases like cholera are also waterborne and are linked to blooms of harmful algae. Toxic algal blooms affect our food supply and undermine the biodiversity of seas that keep ecosystems in balance. Thus, Beach closures due to pollution do not only deny us recreational opportunities, they also signal that further degradation of our food resources is occurring. And increasingly this contamination of food is happening not only to wild caught seafood from polluted areas, but from farmed or cultured seafood as well. Polluted seas and degraded coastal habitats also affect our drinking water supply. And as marine fisheries diminish from overfishing and mishandled management, coupled to climate changes that reduce productivity, there are ever more pressures to return to land to feed hungry populations. This increased pressure on land means increased stress on freshwater availability with water conflicts looming in many parts of the globe. So, ocean health and human health are related, and to keep both in good shape, what can we do 